the FedEx truck is outside. Is that what I think it is? Okay, let us calm down. Let us calm down. really pretty i'm actually really happy with the color this is the outfit for today trying to wear comfortable clothing because like i understand that you want to be comfortable when you're gonna go to the park and skate so i did not pack my skates in my gym duffel bag i just packed them all in my arizona tote Bye. 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 But I think what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna try to like practice going around and stopping. Because stopping is important. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Stop! I was watching a YouTube video and they said when it drags, it shouldn't be dragging. So I'm gonna look into that. I don't know what it's called. You lift up one foot and just go around and round. I also read on Reddit that you're supposed to squat so you're close to the floor. I'm sure, thank you. I don't get to come out too much because I've been studying and then I was like, I was gonna go study and then... Oh, where did you get your undergrad? From the college. Yeah, I attended it. Oh, wow, yeah. yeah I did a, a Master of Science Education and then I did a Master Certificate. Oh, okay, that's cool. That is so funny. In my neighborhood, there are a bunch of people that play, um, well, it's not tennis, but it's like the harder ball. And I guess this is their time. Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh, so many people are talking to me. So everyone has just been making conversation, being friendly. I think I got the hang of just regularly skating, skating in circles. When the floor is smoother, it's just a different experience, y'all. Like, look, I'm just going, I'm just going backwards. I'm barely even pushing myself. I'm not doing that. No jumping for me. It's just too scary. Hey guys, so it's been a few weeks now since I've gotten my sure grip boardwalk. When I recorded that video, it was cold. Okay, it wasn't that cold. It was like 60 degrees-ish, 50 degrees, just basically I was wearing a hat and now the weather has changed i just wanted to come on and update you all with my overall thoughts on the skates that i got when i first learned how to skate as a child i started off with these pink and white chicago quad skates i feel like maybe that's every girl's first skate that they start to skate with but then as time progressed i moved on to rollerblades basically and those were the last skates that i pretty much skated with up until I got the sure grips. I don't really have the opportunity to skate on smooth surfaces, so inline skates were just the better option for me growing up as a child. But the reason why I wanted to try the sure grips is because I wanna learn how to do specific types of dance moves on these. And I saw a bunch of videos on TikTok and just really understanding the culture that roller skating is within the black community. It's something that I just really wanted to get back into doing. Yesterday, I went across the street from my house and I tried to skate around and I fell 
And the reason why I fell is that I'm skating on sidewalk and although the sidewalk is relatively smooth by where I live, there's a lot of grooves and dips in the sidewalk, so I fell. I did have my protective gear on, but then, you know, that made me feel a little disappointed. And when I put on my inlines, I just felt safer rolling with them. As you can see, the inline has more of a protective boot around the ankle. I do have to say when I got back on my inlines, at first I felt like, whoa, I didn't feel stable because you know, they're in line. They're not like quads where you have like a square base to plant your foot flat. In terms of speed and just wanting to skate really fast, I have to give it to the inline. Now, although I did feel a little disappointed yesterday when I fell on my quads, I don't wanna give up skating on them. I wanna continue pushing myself to skate and just make sure that I wear the protective material that I need to wear so that my body parts are protected and that I'm good to go. One thing that I do wanna comment on is that as a New York City native, it does suck because I personally don't think there are an abundance of roller skating rinks to skate at. I mean, that being said, in the summertime, yeah, by Pier 17 downtown Brooklyn, they convert that area and they allow people to roller skate there. I believe at Central Park, they're converting it to give people the ability to roller skate, which is really cool. But when I went to Atlanta, I went to Cascades and it was a really great experience and I would definitely go again. But I feel like that type of experience isn't something that really exists in Brooklyn. Yeah, it's just... They're just not really giving that sort of genesis quoi that I'm looking for. Now, I do want to note that I was doing some research and I know that there's some underground skating clubs that exist. Particularly, I think there is an underground skating club called Crazy Legs Skating Club and fellow people of color go there and they skate and they teach skating lessons there. That is something that I definitely do want to try out for the summer. Growing up in Brooklyn, I definitely visited Empire Skating Rink a few times within my childhood and looking back, it's just so sad to see that these places and spaces don't really exist anymore in Brooklyn, New York, especially understanding the skate culture and how prominent it is within the black community. It's something that I'd really like to see come back, especially within New York City. I know that in other states, it's still pretty large. And even within New York City, I'm sure there are black skaters that exist that want to have these spaces to skate in, but they're just not really there or just not really giving the vibe that they want. Like I said, you can go skating to the pier, you can go to Central Park and Woolman Rink, and you can go all the way to Rockefeller Center to skate, but maybe you don't want to do that. I'm probably going to do it anyway, but like I've been mentioning before, just really having that vibe that I'm looking for. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get it in those spaces. Maybe I'll be proved wrong. I know that Usher definitely popped out and he was skating in one of those environments, but I don't know if the vibe is still going to be the same or if it'll change because He's not there anymore. I do want to have some last thoughts on these skates. These skates have outdoor wheels because I'm in the trenches. The ghetto. I'm just kidding. I have to skate outdoors and the terrain is really rough. I personally think if you are looking for a good quad skate, Sure Grip is the way to go. I almost went with Impalas, but I decided to go with Sure Grips because one, I had the budget for it, and two, I figured. I want to skate and I don't want to buy something that's going to not really serve the purpose that I'm looking for. I'm a part of a Reddit group called Roller Skating and yes, you can get Impalas, but they advise you if you have the extra buck to get something different, get something different and that's why I went with the Sure Grips. I definitely saw the Moxie Lollies, but girl, I did not have that kind of money that I wanted to spend. Hmm. And, and the Sure Grips just seemed like a really good, reliable skate. The price point that I paid for these skates, I'm not gonna lie, they're pretty expensive. I spent over $200 on these skates. I probably spent about $250 on these skates. And I feel like the only reason why I spent $250 on these skates was because of the colorway. I was originally gonna get the blue or lavender skates, but I just felt that I should get a skate that could fit the outfit that I'm wearing at the time. But that said, overall thoughts on the skates. If you're looking for a good quad skate, I highly recommend the Sure Grips. My only thing is, I know some people are probably like, should I get inline? Should I get quad skates? I grew up on inline skates. Yes, I did mention that when I first started skating, I skated on quad skates, but that wasn't a forever thing. I feel like I had about three Chicago quad skates and then I eventually moved on to the inline skates. And even with yesterday, like how I fell on my quad skates, I just didn't feel as secure to go skating on my block with them on. 
But when I put on my inline skates, I was zipping all around and going really fast. So it really just depends on what you are looking to do with your skates. That said, I do want to learn how to dance and do different types of cute tricks on my quad skates. That is why I got them. But I do think if you're looking to just go really fast and have a quick workout and you don't have access to an indoor rink and you have to skate outside, you can definitely get in line. And I know people are going to be like, whoa, whoa, but that doesn't make any sense. Like quad skates can have outdoor wheels. Yes, they can, which is why I got quad skate with outdoor wheels. And you know what? What skate you choose and what you practice with, you'll get better at. So I'm probably more comfortable on my inlines, surprisingly, because that's what I grew up with and what I skated with. Even when I went to Empire, I would bring my own skates and I would bring my inline skates. Lastly, I do just wanna to quickly touch on some items that I definitely think you should get if you're going to roller skate. Definitely get yourself some elbow pads, knee pads. They call these, I almost hit myself with that. They call these knee savers on Amazon. I got them from the Triple Eight brand and I'll link them below in the description box. The boots for my share grips are a suede material. When you're skating on a suede boot, you're definitely going to want to have a toe cap put on here. I don't have it put on now because I just haven't gotten the chance to taking off the toe guard to put them on. I fell yesterday and when I looked at my boot, I was just like, oh my gosh. So yeah, a couple of falls and your boot might split and you don't want that, especially after you invested so much money on your quad skates. These are the toe caps that I have. They're like a suede material as well. I got these from Roller Skate Nation. You can get toe guards on Amazon, eBay, Etsy, people make them. You're gonna want that Y tool so you can take off the toe stops so you're able to put on your toe caps on your skate. I can't find mine, but mine definitely exists. And I'll basically show you a picture of what I got. I got it from Amazon. It's quite large. I didn't think it would be as big, but I believe you're able to replace your wheels and any small little knickknacks on your skate. Apologies, I don't know all of the skate terminology, but essentially you do want that Y tool because you could use it for multiple things on your skate and I highly recommend. I also bought a mouth guard. I want to use this when I skate. Some people aren't that paranoid. I know when you skate, you know, get down low so you don't fall, but I'm really paranoid about my teeth and I don't want anything to happen to them. So I bought this mouth guard from Amazon. I have yet to try it out, but when I do, I will let you guys know. Yeah, that's pretty much my update that I have for the Sure Grips. I highly recommend them. If they are a skate that you are interested in purchasing, I definitely think you should move forward with it. If you have a bit of a more rougher terrain and you're not looking to dance and do more recreational activities, you're looking to get to point A to point B and you live in the city, maybe you should just get a pair of rollerblades. But if you have more of a flatter surface, or even if you're just into doing those types of dance moves or those types of cute tricks that you can do on quad skates, I highly recommend getting the Sure Grips. The price point might not fit some people's pockets and that's completely understandable. So if that's the case, maybe you can just try out a pair of Impalas and see how they go. I hope that I'm able to just skate more this summer and just be more active this summer. But if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one.